Hi, I'm Terry Richards, Employee Relations Director for the Tennessee Department of Correction. On behalf of your Human Resources Division, I present to you this video. The purpose of this video is to provide an overview for Tennessee Department of Correction staff on the most recent changes to take place in state government. As many of you know, in April of this year, Governor Haslam signed into law the TEAM Act. The Act, as it's commonly referred to, is designed to reform the state's employment practices. There are several changes to take place beginning October the 1st, 2012. However, during this video, I will touch on four important areas. Definitions, employment practices, performance planning and evaluation, and disciplinary actions and appeals. First, Career service employees will now be called preferred service employees. Preferred service employees are employees that hold a position in the state service in which the employee has successfully completed the required probationary period. Second, probationary periods will now be at least 12 months. Employees currently on probation will not be affected by the longer probationary period. The Act creates a new hiring system that requires agencies to define minimum qualifications and specifically identify the knowledge, skills, abilities, and competencies KSACs, required for each position. Employees wishing to resign in good standing must submit a written 10-day notice of re resignation to include the reason or reasons for the resignation. Third are changes to the job performance planning and evaluation process. The Act overhauls the performance evaluation system to provide for performance standards and expected outcomes that are specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time sensitive, also known as SMART goals. All employees in the state service shall be evaluated to include a job performance plan, two periodic reviews or interim reviews, and an annual performance evaluation. Performance evaluations can be used to determine salary increases and decreases, make or deny promotions, determine if an employee should be a candidate for demotion, separation, dismissal, or reduction in force. Fourth, let's look at the changes to disciplinary actions and appeals. A preferred employee may contest a written warning by submitting a request to the appointing authority within 14 days from the receipt of the written warning. Written warnings are possibly expunged from an employee's file after two years if one the employee has had no further disciplinary actions with respect to the same area of performance, conduct, and discipline, and two, the employee submits a written request to have the warning removed. It is the employee's responsibility to submit a written request to expunge the written warning from his or her file. Under the TEAM Act, intent letters and due process hearings are no longer required. We do want to continue to give the employee the opportunity to present his or her side of the issue or issues that's possibly leading to the action. There is now a three-step appeal process whereby a preferred employee has the ability to appeal a suspension, demotion, termination within the appeal process. Step one of the appeals process is to the agency's appointing authority or commissioner and is an informal face-to-face -face meeting with the employee, appointing authority or designee, and the supervisor. If the employee is not satisfied with the decision rendered at step one, the employee may appeal to step two. Step two is a review by the commissioner of the Department of Human Resources. If the employee or the agency is not satisfied with the decision rendered at step two, either can appeal to step three. The deal is sealed at step three. Step three is heard by the Board of Appeals. 
the board will hear all matters of fact and issue and will give a ruling from the bench. Again, the purpose of this video is to give you a short overview on some of the changes that are to take place October 1, 2012. We encourage each of you to read the entire Act and updated policies. This information, along with the appeal forms, can be found on the Department of Human Resources website at www.tn.gov/dohr. Thank you.